Okay, as, as a veterinarian, uh, you know, we're always concerned about biosecurity issues. And, and even, of course, veterinarians are, are regulated basically by the Animal Health Commission, USDA. So if we move certain classes of animals, whatever, interstate or, or uh, inter or intrastate, mm -hmm. depending on the disease, sometimes we have to get a call the certificate of veterinary inspection or a health paper. So tell me a little bit about bees because we're talking about diseases and diseases where we have to destroy hives and stuff like that. So let's just say that I that I live in East Texas and I there's somebody out in West Texas that has some beehives and mm -hmm. I, I want to buy some bees. Can I just go out there and load them up and bring them or do I have to get a permit or do I have to get inspection? How does that work? Sure, there, there's a couple layers here. Um, first off, we primarily inspect commercial operations. So those operations that are going across the United States for pollination services. Um, generally, we will inspect them once a year or they need an inspection from their state of origin. If they're based out of North Dakota, South Dakota, somewhere like that, um, we would require that that state send us the certificate of inspection that's valid within the last 12 months. Um, if they are transporting bees across county lines in Texas, in other words, if they're taking them from an apiary in West Texas and moving them to East Texas, they would require an intrastate permit that is issued by our department, as well as if they were importing the bees from out of Texas, they would need an importation permit into Texas. So do you actually have to go inspect the bees before you give them the permit? Um, generally what we do is we'll inspect the operation. Okay. We don't inspect the individual beehives just because of logistical purposes. You know, okay. Some of these beekeepers can have upwards of 30,000 hives. Okay. Um, but what we'll do is we'll look at the operation, make sure that we don't see foul brood rampant in the operation. Um, it may infect certain hives over time. Um, generally the beekeepers will report that to us and destroy the hives. Uh, but we won't inspect every single hive, but we'll inspect a, a subset of that operation. Okay, so as a practicing veterinarian, I'm, I'm trying to uh, write a prescription or a feed directive, whichever is appropriate, and I'm going out and, I'm, and, I, and I find a piece of grass or a toothpick mm -hmm. or whatever, and I stick it in there and I get this ropey foul smell and stuff. Am I obliged to report that to somebody? Am I required to report that to somebody? Or is that the owner's responsibility? Or kind of tell us how that process works. Um, what's our liability as veterinarians yeah. in this? As a veterinarian, you, you should report it to us. Um, the owner of the hive is the one that's legally obliged to um, okay. report it to us. Um, we may work with the vet to have them destroy the hive and after we receive samples of it. Um, it will take that on a case-by-case -case basis, depending on the level, the level of infection and um, how many hives are, are infected in that apiary. But at minimum, we're gonna require that hive be destroyed and we will quarantine that apiary mm -hmm. for at least 21 days for one brood cycle and then go out there and retest or re-look at the hives to make sure that the foul brood hasn't spread to adjacent hives. Okay, so, so to be clear, if the veterinarian suspects that and he sends would would he send the sample to your lab or would the producer send the sample to your lab I mean I'm assuming the veterinarian would if he's gonna have to prescribe a drug for that yeah, he's gonna the, have to have a diagnosis if the veterinarian is one doing the the diagnosis we would recommend the vet send it to us and and then he would also of course once you've got it and you knew what it was then it's reported anyway exactly. but if he suspects it then he needs to report it to you, is that exactly. correct? Exactly, and, and we have pro, um, uh, submission forms on our website okay. and information on how to submit samples. Okay. And if they have questions, they can always call us and Certainly. we can give them the step-by-step the -step of how to do that. Certainly.